Days that you have energy, the days that you sharp, it doesn't count much. Because that, those days, it's it's an easy day for you, you know. But the days that you really beat up, really tired, really sore, and you don't feel like that's the days that that will count. That's the days that will make you better. much more than you think you know you think it's just training competing you know a lot of people they complain about this people say I want to become the world champion say, oh, you know I don't have any training partners or oh, I have to teach class or oh, I have to you know to be a business owner it's too many things going on it's too many excuses is it it is hard you know this is a, I should be home I should train and go home sleep wake up train again and then go home, rest, and get ready for the next day. But they don't do what it takes, you know? And, uh, and I think uh, I kind of understand what it takes, and you have to, to give it all. You know, I've been doing jiu-jitsu since I'm 13 years old, you know, and since then I'm, I've been like competing in all the tournaments, I've been competing in the worlds, you know, and uh, it, it's, uh, it took me years and years to, to be there, you know, it took me maybe around 20 years to, to get to the podium. Before I became a business owner, I was helping at this academy. Uh, the guys from uh, the academy here in California, they told me, hey, man, we have a, an opportunity for you to go to Hawaii uh, to be the head instructor at, at this academy. I got this offer, so I took it. I went there and I stayed almost a year there. And it was very hard for me because the, the guy that was there, he was a friend of mine. And you know, he was a very friendly guy, very nice guy. So all the students, they were missing him especially the kids and I never gonna forget my first class when I I taught the, the kids class all the kids they were, they were looking at me like oh my god this guy's coming he's taking the other guy's place and it was a big challenge you know I had to take care of all the classes at the academy same thing the academy was super busy there so when I went to Hawaii I was only talking English all, all the time so I was living with uh, you know only uh, guys from here so it was pretty good so he helped me to learn the language how to take care of academy, kind of how to be a business owner. My wife and I, we decided to, to come back here to, to California. A lot of things that I wanna, I wanna do still. But very happy, very happy. I have a great family, I have a great academy. I think the most important thing is to stay on track, like stay focused on that goal. Doesn't matter what happened. Doesn't matter if you get beat up first fight, if you get choked first fight. Doesn't matter what happened. Go back to the gym, do your work again, and do it again, and do it again, do it again, and then one day we'll, we'll figure it out. It's a lot of times that you have a lot of doubts in your head. You're training a lot, you're giving everything, and then you're like, man, you go there and you don't do well, and then you're like, man, am I doing? right or you know is it possible to do the way I'm doing you know my god man what am I doing oh, my body is so much sore you know the days that I really want to train it might be like 40% and 
and I would say maybe 60% of the other days that I train, I'm just forcing myself to train. I'm not like, I'm not 100%, I know. But I know whenever I recover a little bit, I'll be 110% to compete, you know? So, and that's the main goal. So I think uh, that's very important too. So if you wanna get good, you gotta be training, training all the time, all the time. There's no time off. Yeah. I'll tell the guys sometimes uh, it's not a we don't have here training camp, so I'm always training, I'm always pushing. Of course, it training sometimes you know fluctuates a little bit. Sometimes we go really hard when we're getting close, and then we slow down a little bit to recover, and then we go hard again. No, but I'm always training, you know, always training, no matter what, I'm here training, you know, and I think those days, they are the days that really count. So whenever you have a goal that you want to accomplish, whenever you, you know, you, you really want to do something, you know that you're going to have to leave some things behind. I used to go out with my friends, you know, enjoy, and, you know, train jujitsu, work out, but I was not taking very serious. Uh, whenever I became a brown belt, you know, I, I met my wife too, my wife helped me a lot with that. So she put me on track and, uh, you know, and then I started really going very, 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 very hard and really dedicating 100%. I went to, to Europe, you know, to, to do some seminars there too. Uh, and, you know, I started to understand what it really takes. It's not only being an athlete, uh, you gotta live by, by the example. You know, I think they see that. They see me doing that, the same thing, you know, I'm tired, I'm training as hard as they train me. And at the same time, I'm working, you know, I have no excuses. I think that gives them a good example of, uh, you know, what it takes to, you know, to be an athlete, to be a business owner, to be successful. <laughs> Getting the medal at, at Worlds, it was, uh, it was priceless. Uh, it was amazing for me, special, because it took me so many years. And you know, I'm really impressed with all those, those guys that, you know, being on the podium, being winning our Worlds for years and years, you know, so it's a, it's a big accomplishment. Something that, that takes a lot uh, from you is not only, you know, physically, it's mentally, you know, and, and you have to be focused on the day, you have to be sharp, and you have to believe, you know, so it was, uh, it was very hard and I was very happy, but I think I, 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 can, I can do even better.